First on Fox, a picture is worth a whole lot more than a thousand words at Metro Parks, it turns out. If you want to take a snapshot in a park here in Nashville, you better bring your wallet. An amateur photographer says he was actually asked to leave Centennial Park because he didn't have a permit to take pictures there. As Fox 17's Roger Suzanne and shows us, it is a regulation that few seem to know about. Roger? Yeah, Scott and Stacy, thousands of people have been committing a crime they probably didn't even know was on the books. And all it takes is your cell phone. Oh boy, I bet this woman has no idea that at any moment a security guard could swoop down on her for taking that picture. It happened recently to amateur photographer Darwin Alberto. He's really saying, yeah, no kidding, if, if, if you uh, are doing any kind of photography, uh, well, yeah, around the Parthenon, you're going to need a permit. It's true. Believe it or not, taking a selfie or any other type of photo in a metro public park is against the law. Uh, isn't it public property? Yes. Isn't it my right to take pictures on public property? Well, not always. Oh, that's another stupid law in Tennessee. If you want to take pictures or film video at a metro park, you are supposed to obtain a permit. The cost? 125 bucks for Davidson County residents and even more for folks outside Metro. That's absurd, ridiculous. I don't think anybody would pay that. In the past, have you ever taken pictures here? Yes, I'm a photographer. So did you know you were actually breaking the law? I had no idea. He wasn't alone. We found plenty of people taking pictures, but everyone we spoke with says they had no clue about the regulation. That's just, it's ridiculous. Darwin says the security guard told him it didn't matter if he was a professional or an amateur, and there's no mention of a distinction on the application. Well, I see it as just another way for governments to make money. The Parks Department didn't return our calls for clarification, but Darwin isn't too bent out of shape. You see, he still has the evidence of the crime. Yeah, I had already gotten most of my photos, so, so I wasn't too concerned. I wasn't too frustrated. Now, we should note that while we were out at Centennial Park shooting video for this story, we were not approached by security. Remember last night we reported that the U.S. Forestry Service was considering charging folks for picture permits? Well, they have since backed off. We'll have to see what Metro Parks does. Roger Shazenden, Fox 17 News. Interesting story, Roger. We want to know what you think about these regulations. All you have to do is head to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash foxnashville, and let us know your opinion.